Hello everybody, it's Rob from Collecting Dust Hobbies. Welcome back. Storage locker, sports storage locker update number two. Uh, if you remember, if you see my previous video, there uh, was a sports locker, actually two of them, two 10 by 30s that I acquired from Renee from Storage Wars. I um, had gone through those and one of the things that had drawn me to the lockers in the first place is what I'm going to show you today, which were a lot of uh, 8 by 10 autograph pictures as well as just some other stuff. Um, you know, mostly autograph poster type things. I'm going to go ahead and pan here and you guys can see there's kind of some stuff here. You might remember seeing some of this from the video that Renee posted. Um, it's it just, just, just chock full of some really cool stuff. I know the last time we kind of just did some cards because they happened to be kind of what I was working on that day. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of 8x10s. Maybe, I want to say a good couple hundred maybe of uh, 8x10s autographed. And and as well as then there were, you know, and I'll do it in another video later, but just the, you know, the photo files, the official Major League Baseball photo file 8x10s, probably about... I want to say about 500 of those, you know, various players, uh, Pete Rose, Reggie Jackson, um, the likes of that. Um, some other stuff in there, a lot of McGuire Sosa stuff. So it looked like, you know, during that time when everything was hot between that home run race, there was a lot of that kind of stuff going. So anyway, let's get to, get into it. Um, the one thing that, you know, was kind of interesting were these kind of these posters right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get those done and, and you can see what's behind them. But We've got the uh, Roberto Alomar and the Tony Gwynn poster. Unfortunately, um, as is the case a lot of times when I when I buy large collections, is a lot of people, you know, they put a lot of money in their collection, but then they don't do a good job of you know keeping it safe or or keeping it from getting wrinkled, uh, warped, you know, broken, creased, torn, that kind of stuff. So it was just kind of a not, not a shame because they're not too bad. But um, was looking at these posters here. We've got the Roberto Alomar, and let's see if we can pan in here a little bit. But but basically the uh, the Gwyn here, the uh, artist is Angelo Moreno, um, and these are showing as numbered to 500. Um, this one was 340 out of 500. There's two Gwyn posters and three Alomar posters. Not sure. Haven't really found a lot, uh, much about it. I did find some stuff on the artist and apparently they, he did a lot of these. They would be kind of like these montage type type um, artist, uh, I guess, paintings. But then these are the prints. So I'm um, just not sure how collectible these are or, or what. But they're really, really nice pieces. Um, the only thing that was sad is is there's a lot of creasing on some of them in the corners. I mean, not too bad. I mean, if, I mean, this would be a great picture to get framed, you know, and, and put up in your, your card room or, or something like that. Um, but Roberto Alomar, I don't know. Every time I see this guy, I just remember that at bat against the Chicago White Sox. I, I want to say he fouled off, like, what was it, 12 or 15 pitches, and then he hit a home run. It was just unbelievable, that that playoff game. But, um, but yeah, so as you can see, just really, really, really pretty. It's signed, you know, by the artist. This is number 327. I don't know if that's signed by Roberto Alomar or not. I mean, it could be. Um, it looks like it might be. I, I just noticed that right now. I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to tell. I mean, it looks like the... Yeah, the handwriting from the artist and this is definitely different. So um, that's that's potential, potentially um, Roberto Alomar's autograph, so even better. So, yeah, so there's that one. And, and again, there was three of those and then two Gwyns. And then here's the Gwyn. As you can see, as I reveal there's some nice stuff uh, behind it that we found but yeah here's what I'm here talking about right here is you've got this nice crease unfortunately right here um, again Angelo Moreno Tony Gwynn not sure if that's his autograph or not and then numbered uh, you know accordingly so yeah just really really nice pieces of artwork so Let's see, so there's that, and as you can see now, I've, I've revealed that there was some more autograph stuff that are uh, these bigger, bigger pictures. Uh, you got Matt Noakes and uh, Merv Rettenmund. Now, I did, there's some stuff still in storage that I pulled out. Um, there was a couple of Cincinnati Reds hats that are also signed by Merv. So, it'll be kind of interesting to see those and, and see what, what, you know, where they go. Now, with that said, I mean, the biggest thing for you, you, you people out there that, that, basically um collect the ttms and the, the autographs i mean the trickiest thing is is whether or not you know some of these are real um that's always the tricky part with 
um, autographs is it's just you never know i mean you know i mean I, in here i mean there's probably some in here like like you know why would somebody fake that autograph or whatnot well i mean if somebody fakes enough of them you know even at 20 30 bucks a piece when they're really you know maybe a, on a five dollar eight by ten it makes some money and if they've been doing it for years you know who knows so um based on what i've seen though and just in the locker and the kind of the provenance behind um where the locker came from and all that other good stuff I would probably say that I would think most of these, if not all these signatures, are real. Um, but there's only one way to find out. There's a few in here we'll get to in a little bit. Some really, really good stuff um, coming up here at the end. Um, where if they are real, it's going to be a really nice a nice thing for me. So um, let's just go ahead and continue. Um, these were kind of interesting. These are some game-worn cleats, size 12. Number 28. And see, this one doesn't have it. So you can see this is you know still got the dirt. Kind of interesting to see what stadium this was in, too. You can get some dirt if it's like a, you know, an old stadium that doesn't exist anymore or something like that. Maybe you can... Anyway, so um, I digress. But, uh, yeah, some Reeboks, black, size 12. Not sure. Um, and then you've got... So right here you've got the autograph. Um, so number 28. Assuming it's a Padre. Um, haven't really been able to... Haven't done too much research, but just it looks like a double R, possibly. Um, not sure. So I was just trying to, uh, uh, I guess we'll figure it out later, but if anybody out there knows, you know, please comment below. Um, I mean, this whole video is going to just be, most of these are labeled, but uh, something like this, you know, just just don't know. So these are kind of cool. And if you guys have never seen a, a real Major League Baseball cleat with the metal studs, Reebok, that's why, you know, when you're sliding in second base or whatnot, and they go studs up, you know how dangerous it can be, especially if you're a shortstop turning a double play. So... Okay, um, the other thing that I thought was interesting were these baseballs. Um, I found about, about, I think, six or seven of these boxes. And it says SS. I'm not sure if that was Split Squad or, or whatnot. So, because um, in looking at them, they look like they actually were, I mean, they're brand new for the most part, it looks like. But look, you know, or maybe they were used for batting practice. But it looks like they were kind of maybe prepped. Possibly, actually, this one's a little scuffed, so maybe maybe not completely brand new, you know. But um, maybe they were BP balls, but I don't really see much wear on them. So I'm assuming they they were probably just prepped for a game, but not used. Um, you know, who knows? And, and, and plus, they've been sitting in a storage unit for who knows how long. Um, so it, it could have just been some liquid that got in there. I don't know. It's it's just hard to say. But really cool. Um, I don't think they said anything on the box where you know how what year they were, but uh, you got buds. Is it Bud Selig here? I can't tell, but um, but anyway, um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but um, but yeah, just really nice, some nice, just you know, official Rawlings baseballs with some stainage. So not sure, but uh, found about six boxes of those. There's three, six, nine, twelve. So you know, a good amount of baseballs there. I think there's a seventh box actually, so that would bring it up a little bit. But um, I've seen some of these going for ten, fifteen dollars a piece, just depending on what they are. Um, and then uh, I don't know Renee had mentioned that a lot of people were talking about the Shamrock poster here. You get the Ken Shamrock um, autograph there, which is which was the beginning of what is now, I guess you would you'd say was as now the UFC, um, kind of back in the beginnings. Um, just some really interesting things, and it looks like this is maybe even before before the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys kind of came on scene. So it, it could be even really early um, before the Gracie brothers um, basically uh, reinvented this sport as we know it today with the grappling and whatnot. So also found this. I don't know. This was r rolled up in a and a tube i'm not sure i mean it, it's kind of interesting it looks like it was just printed out on something and cut so i, I don't know you know it's, it's Derek jeter you know whether or not it's just some kind of authentic piece or whether or not it's just a, you know it says vela 2011 i'm not sure i have to look that up you know the artist and see if this is kind of some kind of print or whatnot i mean just it just it just looks like it was just printed out though so i'm not sure so you know, who knows, maybe he's, you know, maybe the person just wanted it, you know, to put on the wall or something like that. But uh, kind of a, a nice little interesting piece there. Um, one of the coolest things I saw was was this. 
um, which was this Padres program, 1979 official P Padres program, which in, in itself is already kind of cool. You got the Dave Winfield on front. But then when you start leafing through it, there's there's just tons of autographs, you know, all through this thing. And I don't know about anybody else that's trying to collect autographs. You know, sometimes they used to have the, uh, you know, meet the players day, that kind of stuff. Uh, I know back in the day, I'm not sure if they still do it today. Um, where you could kind of meet with some of the players after the game and you, they would sign autographs and whatnot. So, so here's Dave Winfield and there's an autograph down there. You know, Roger Craig, you know, back in the day, um, autograph. But the cool thing about this is I kept flipping through is it seemed like they pretty much got everybody's autograph. There's only a few players and a couple coaches missing, but you know, there's your Gaylord Perry autograph, Randy Jones, uh, it's just amazing kind of cool i mean so i'm not sure if it was all done at the one time uh raleigh fingers if they knew somebody in the front office that passed it around it's hard to say but i mean in 79 though it was probably easier to get autographs than it is today but here's the you know here's the one you want ozzy smith and sure enough there's the ozzy smith autograph so i mean this is just a cool piece i mean i just don't see too many of those I remember going to an LA Galaxy game that had that, and I had my program. I want to say I got it signed by maybe five or six players, and a lot of the the, the main players didn't even show up. Um, so it's kind of like, um, you know, to, to see this and to see how many autographs are in here is just amazing. You know, I mean, so so Mickey Lawless would be one that he did not get, but it's pretty much, you know, if you're going through here, it says autograph after autograph after autograph and and the cool thing is is you know you know even you know kurt bavakwa um i mean just just amazing and then he even got the or she i'm not sure who got the autographs but um there's tim flannery um and mike champion i mean just some interesting ones and then there's you know the coach there's all these autographs at the back i'm not sure what this is um, haven't really looked and then of course Juan Eichelberger's signature is on the picture and then for whatever reason he signed the back too so maybe he was going through uh, you know a lineup or something on the field and he didn't remember who, who they got autographs of and, and whatnot but just a really really cool piece there's some coaches here yeah so if you see here even the coaching staff you know it's you know all but one guy so I'm assuming this was some kind of yeah, Dick Phillips. Um, oh, wait, wait, oh, is even even cool. I think it's after this. Let me see. Is it this page? And this is something you don't see. If, I don't know if I can find it here, but the, he actually had the announcers. There's there's the two announcers, the two Padre announcers, and their autographs right here too. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but anyway. Um, so yeah, just a really cool piece. You know, something that uh, kind of cool. I, I mean, I might have this graded just to. Or not graded, but the uh, PSA DNA certified. Uh, some of these pictures, I will be doing that. So, and then they will be available at that point in time. But, um, yeah, just a really, really cool piece. Don't see that too often. Um, so, as you can see here, you got the Mer, you know, uh, the Bull Rider. I don't remember his name. You got the Merv Retton, Rettman, the Matt Noakes. That's just a picture of Merriman. Um, no autographs. I just kind of put this as background, but you've got the, um, the Nolan Ryan Uncut Mother's Cookie Sheet. Kind of cool. But, okay, so, um, yeah. And the cool thing about these 8x10s is it wasn't just sports stars. There was a lot of movie star stuff, too. So you've got, you know, Bob Livingston and some old black and white Western stuff. Just really, really cool. Um, let me just, you know, kind of go through these. We got, uh, you know, Soupy Sales, Sally Struthers, um, Sam Hall. And there's actually multiple copies in this one, so it's the same picture with the, same, you know, with the autograph. Um, then we get some spores. We got uh, Fred Bolitnikoff. I mean, just some really cool stuff. You know, Gary Clark. Back in those those Doug Williams days. And then we got uh, Anthony Davis from the Buccaneers. So I mean, some of these are, are in you know signed. So, I mean, some of them do have. Um, some cert certificates of authenticity with them but i like to go to psa as the authority on that just 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 to make sure um but yes yeah, so, so let's go ahead and continue sean moore you guys remember him and then um 
Cowboys lineman. I can't remember his name on the top of my head. And we got Mel Mel Renfro. Cowboys. Not sure who that is off the top of my head. Best Witches. Washington Bullets. We got uh, Bobby Clark. Bobby Clark. And then now uh, here's here's one of the first ones that you know we, we hope is real. You know, it's, it's the Gordy Howe. If you guys can see that kind of uh you know all all the best Gordy Howe. Um yeah, so something like this. I mean if it's you know, it's got the collector series. So you know it might have been, you know, something that was done in conjunction with that, you never know. Um like some kind of uh, local racing. Um, let's see what else we got here. Just, just, just a ton. There's some really cool stuff. Um, let's just go with this pile here. You know, Jacqueline Bissett. You know, a lot, like I said, a lot of movie stars. Loni, An Loni Anderson. Adrian Barbeau. Laura Dern. Alan Alda from Mash. Have a nice mash picture there with Alan all, all this autograph. Here you go, Vincent Price. Here's some cool stuff. It's a smaller one, but it's Vincent Price. So something like that if it's real, uh, cool stuff. Kathleen Quinlan, Leslie and Warren. This is uh, Jill St. John, a little old, older school there. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got Lillian Gish, Donna Mills. Here we go. Some Clint Eastwood. So really just dirty hairy type stuff, I'm assuming. Looks like an old Hollywood still. I mean, stuff like that's kind of cool. Then behind that, you've got what I'm assuming is the Heartbreak Ridge uh, production. Clint Eastwood there. Um, just really cool stuff. A couple of Johnny Carsons. I mean, just, just awesome to have a Johnny Carson autograph in your hands. Um, there's there's another Johnny Carson there. Just some really cool stuff. Um, I mean, like I said, you hope, you hope it's real. Um, I don't no, if, if something would be this many would be fake, but you know, you, you never know. So here we go. We got some Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, probably Halloweenish, um, whatnot. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis again. Dudley Moore. Jack Klugman. You know, James Gardner. I mean, just just chock full of these, and even. You know, I mean, I'm going to certify most of them if I can, but just some really cool stuff. Peter Falk, you know, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris autograph, you got Chevy Chase, but here you go. So here's a nice, you know, nice and dusty. And unfortunately, these are just sitting, sitting on top of some boxes. So, you know, luckily they didn't get damaged um, or, 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 or whatnot. So here, here's a really cool one. This is from Mad Max. You got Mel Gibson. So something like this you hope is real, because not only is it Mel Gibson, but it's on the Mad Max um, picture. So really, really cool stuff. Um, you know, look at Rodney Dangerfield. Really cool. Bob Hope. couple of Bob Hopes here. Bob Hope. Jack Nicholson. I mean, old school Jack Nicholson. I can't remember the name of this movie, but autograph's a little shaky, but Dick Van Dyke. I mean, just... Fun stuff. Ellen Bree. So, I mean, just really, really cool. Really, really cool stuff. Let's see what else we got. We got Tony Rumble. Not sure who that is. Uh, Julie something or other. I can't remember. My, my mom knew who she was, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, Pat Paulson. Let's see. Some, some more oldies here. We got uh, Guy Madison. Some more Western stuff. Rod Taylor. We got, and then in the middle of that, you know, we got a Christie McVie, you know, Fleetwood Mac. So, really cool stuff. Jerome Hines. Um, yeah, so just some really cool things. And then, um, you know, and then as far as like, you know, pop culture Americana, I mean, you always love it when you, you know, it's signed by, by both of them, uh, Robert Hayes and, 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 and Julie Haggerty. But you know, from the you know the, the the really awesome you know airplane movie, so so non PC these days. But uh, but uh, you know iconic you know film. All right, so I think this is. I'm not sure who this is. Is it Rock? 
I think it's Rock Hudson, but then you got Howard Hessman, WKRP in Cincinnati. Good stuff. And then you've got uh, Noah Berry. Art Carney. Norton! So, it's the best impression you get from me today. So, hopefully you liked it. If not, oh well. So, let's see here. Another Art Carney. Actually, I saw an interesting thing on uh, Twitter today. It was It was talking about the... Uh, Somebody had posted an article, an old newspaper article, talking about how um, Star Wars, the holiday special Star Wars, but you know, was was being advertised in the paper, and it wasn't about Star Wars. It was the fact that Art Carney was going to be helping with the hosting of it, <laughs> you know, which is kind of looking back is kind of funny because now Star Wars is just so big. Phyllis Diller, um, Woody Woodpecker. So, um, and we got um, Billy Barty, iconic. Billy Barty. Not sure who this is. Um, and there's some other stuff in there too. Um, I'm not going to show on camera, but there's some Marilyn Chambers and 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 uh, a few other, you know, Linda Lovelace and things like that that were also in the pile. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of an interesting mix. So, so you have that, and then let's see. So then you have um, this bull rider. I'm not sure who he is. But he's there. Then you have that. Now, if you want to pan up, actually, I'll actually just do this. So you got the Matty Noakes and the Merv. You guys have seen those in the background. But then I came across these, and these were really, really cool. Um, they're basically signed numbers. They're certified by CJs. Not sure who that is, but um, it, it's just really cool. So if you look up here, you've got basically Ron Mix, Matt Wilhelm, and Paul Lowe, um, all mm, Chargers. Um, and it's just really cool. It's just kind of a, you know, as it comes down, um, yeah, kind of a signed number and, uh, really cool. I'm assuming the number was part of their Jersey numbers. I haven't looked at these guys are a little bit, had bit before my time. So not a hundred percent familiar with them, but there's the Ron mix. This is, you know, Paul Lowe, 1963 AFC champs. Paul Lowe, 65 AFL MVP, really cool stuff, certified by CJs, I'll have to look into that, but just really, really cool stuff, something you're not going to find um, every day, it's just kind of a, you know, numbers, and I mean, you know, it'd be really cool to kind of frame something like this, maybe with some memorabilia or pictures next to it, and kind of like a shadow box or something, it would be really, really cool, so anyway, so you got the Ron mix, so um, yeah, with that said, let's get to the good stuff, um, did find this though, and I was kind of a couple of times I've done this. So I found this this certificate here, and looked it up, and it, it kind of goes to an Anthony Miller football. So I'm hoping that somewhere in the unit is an Anthony Miller football. Um, and here we got the uh, Oakland Raiders, 1976 World Champs. You got Madden right here. It's George Atkinson is the autograph. Um, but wow, what a team! When you when you look at you know Ken Stabler, Willie Brown, Cliff Branch. I mean. Ray Guy, just just a bunch of really cool stuff on there. Just a cool picture in itself, and then on top of that, you got a George Atkinson autograph. So now these are the ones that you know when you start getting into these, like Doke Walker, and this is when you really hope that that these are real. Um, you know, and you certify this Doke Walker kind of thing. Um, nothing on the back indicating anything, but I mean, this is this is some really just cool f football history right here. You know, Doke Walker Award. Um, just a really great picture. Um, nice autograph, Hall of Fame '86. So, I mean, I mean, based on, I mean, just the way it is. I mean, you know, he's pretty old at that time, '86. I mean, he looks a little shaky. So it could, it could be. You know, I mean, I hope so because that's just, just a, just an amazing autograph. Um, then you've got Dante Lavelli, I guess, Hall of Fame '75. So another, another oldie but goodie here. Um, so just kind of a again you know more football um iconetry so and if uh, someone's kind of mixed in here but you might mike pruitt kind of uh cleveland browns ring back if you guys remember him then you get into you know you've got some a couple of joe montanas obviously you know you know if this this is real it's nice um this is uh looks like they're playing the rams at the uh, in anaheim i'd come across some stuff a long time ago where 
um, it looked like there was a photographer that was on the sidelines and had taken a bunch of photography shots and really cool kind of seeing you know Montana and it was before Rice so oh and Eric Dickerson I think we're in it with those pictures as well so it's really cool kind of a find but uh, Frank Thomas there's a couple of these um, so I'm not sure that they're on the official and we'll get to this in the eight by tens that I do the the official um, the official uh, Major League Baseball. This is an official photo st stamps and stuff. So, all right. Then we got I uh, got Gaylord Perry. Gaylord Perry, cool stuff. I found this. Now the sad thing about this is, you know, I found it and but I haven't found the picture. So it's a PSA DNA certified. And in the picture is, let's see here, uh, San, uh, Roberto Alomar, Sandy Alomar, Jr. and Sr. So it's all the Alomars. Um, don't know when it was, but, you know, I haven't found this picture. So unfortunately, here's a certification, but there's no picture out there. So now we're going to get, and so there's another, you know, Joe Montana autograph. All right, but now we get to these two things here. And everybody loves these. But this is one of the big reasons. And the, the next photo after this are the ones I really, really said, hmm, you know, maybe I should take a, take a shot on this this unit. You never know. Um, I've looked at a lot of Mantle autographs. And these actually look pretty good. But you just never know. Um, but, you know, I mean, just two really nice Mickey Mantle autograph pictures. Um, you look on the back here. Nothing there indicating, but you know, just just I mean, if these are real and these certify out, then you know, I'll be a happy camper. So, and then the last one uh, was this one, um, and you know, Joe DiMaggio. So, you know, an, an icon. And I was at a game in an old timers game in San Francisco in the early '90s, and the story goes that I guess DiMaggio was there on the bench, and he didn't play. Obviously, he was pretty old at that time, but. Um, one of the trainers or one of the staff or something handed him a ball. And the way the story goes is he, 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 he said he didn't sign baseballs. So I don't know, um, you know, if that was just baseballs he didn't sign or he didn't sign in general or whatnot. So then you've got this signed here, um, 8 by 10 um, Yeah, just, just, I don't know, really, really cool stuff. Um, if this grades out and I did pull it and look at it, I mean, it's really ink and all that good stuff. So it's, 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 it'd be really cool. So you got the two mantles, the two damages right there, which could, you know, could be really nice. I'm going to grade them out. If they do come back PSA certified, I'll probably get them framed. Um, but eventually they would be available. Um, but it's probably going to be, you know, down the line here. Um, once that, once I get it done. So Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this is a little bit longer than my other couple of videos, but this is just update number two. Um, spent a ton of, ton of time pulling stuff out this weekend. Unfortunately, we had a little uh, event with the guy that was helping me. Ended up having a heat stroke and had to go go to the emergency. So just just be careful out there in this heat. And when you're when you're you know, I, I know it's it's easy to get focused on oh wow, look at all this stuff and cool things. And just remember, you know, safety first. So. Um, with that said, you know, um, you know, hit follow if you like what we do. Hit like if you like the video. Uh, subscribe. Comment below if you have any comments on any of this stuff. Um, just, you know, mo most of this stuff will eventually be um, available for sale. It's just a matter of time of, 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 of me getting it certified and or up on eBay. And um, just go from there. But as always, you know, have a great day. Keep collecting. Do what you love. Follow your passions. And, you know. Have a great day. Take care, guys. Look forward to the next one. Bye.